Oh man, we've just seen Bitcoin for $10,000 from $68,000 to about $58,000 in the space of seven days. What is going on? Should we be worried? And I'm going to tell you why the next 12 hours, yep, 12 hours are critical for what's going to play out next for Bitcoin. Now, as always, guys, if you like my blend between technical and fundamental analysis and the updates I bring you, smash up the like, subscribe, and we're going to get straight into the charts for Bitcoin. But first, Go and collect your free money, guys. Links in the description. You've got Swissbook offering you up to 100 euros, guys. 100 euros for just depositing 50 euros. You deposit 50 euros, they'll give you a ticket worth up to 100 euros. Coinbase offering you $10 in free Bitcoin when you buy or sell $100 or more in crypto. And you've got $10 in free Bitcoin waiting for you from BlockFi if you deposit $100 or equivalent in crypto. So go collect, up, collect your free money, guys. You can never have enough exchanges set up, so go and do that. So guys, I finally landed back in the UK on UK soil, bringing you an update on what is going on. It's been a crazy roller coaster, and a lot of you guys, obviously, I've been giving you updates on Phantom and various altcoins, Polkadot, Matic, uh, Chainlink, and you guys all wanted an update on the wider market as well. You wanted to know where is Bitcoin heading, and it's good to do this from time to time. Uh, I know there's a lot of channels covering Bitcoin. It's easy for you guys to get content on Bitcoin, but it's important that we do that as well, because all do move in line with Bitcoin, so we need to know where we're heading. So let's take a very brief recap into what has happened so far with Bitcoin. Um, dating back all the way back from 14th of May, we started forming this massive cup and handle pattern on the daily here. We broke out from this cup and handle pattern on the 6th of October, okay, just as we predicted. And we had our price targets, if those of you watching my videos saw that we had a price target of 75,000 from this cup and handle pattern, that's just white target. But at the same time of breaking this cup and handle pattern, it was a double breakout because we're also breaking out from this big purple wedge as well, okay? So we had a 85,000 target from that target as well. So we, we, we broke out and we got a good movement to the upside. We created an all-time high here and then we created an all-time high again on the 10th of November when we briefly broke um, the, the previous high, right? So we touched 69,000. Since then, we've had seven days of, you know, really bad uh, kind of correction, which has got a lot of people worried about what is going on. So this is what I see happening. Now, the first thing is very normal to kind of get rejected from a new high. When you create a new high, it's very you know normal for us to get a bit of a calling off. And what we're seeing now is we lost the 64,863 mark, which is this yellow line here, which dates all the way back to our previous all-time high uh, here. Okay, going back into uh, that was on the 14th of April. So we lost that level and we headed to the downside. But now where we're at is it we're in this big green rectangle. And why is this green rectangle important? It's very important for the following reasons. Going back to earlier in this year, we went into the green rectangle once, we got sent back down. We went again, we got sent back down. Went again, slightly down. Went back up to all time highs, rejected all the way back down. Tried to break it again. And then we went all the way down to our 28,000 level marks, right? That's what started the, the, the massive correction during the middle of this year. So this green rectangle is super for, important for us. The reason I've colored it green right now is we need to hold it as support. The moment that we lose it to the downside, it will become resistance again, just like it was here. And trust me, it's not an easy resistance to break. Therefore, it's super important that we hold it as support right now. We need to take this, this rectangle here and turn it into support. And that is why I'm not so concerned right now. A lot of people are getting upset because they thought, oh, we're just going to go do this and we're going to go all the way up. Yeah, that's kind of not how TA works and it's kind of not how investing works. You get your ups and you get your downs and this is perfectly healthy for us right now and I don't mind it. We know the fear and greed index is at all time highs right now. We know people are greedy. There's a load of, sorry, leverage is at all time highs right now. And that is why you're getting massive red candles with massive movements to the downside. That's why Bitcoin has lost $10,000 per coin in just seven days, right? It's happening because there's so much leverage in the market. And that is why uh, the whales know how to flush out that leverage ready for us to head higher. Some people can call it, uh, you know, Wyckoff distribution, but the, to, to keep it nice and simple for everybody, all it means is that institutions, big wells want to run this ride to the next phase of Bitcoin, but they need to get rid of the weak hands first. Those people that have just kind of started buying in all-time highs and doing 100x leverage positions, they need to wipe them off, take their Bitcoin, and then they're taking it off of exchanges. And all the on-chain metrics are showing you that right now. But to stick to the TA for now, what is going to happen? What is this? So this is, first of all, the really critical point, okay? So we know that we need to hold this level here, we've got a support line within our green rectangle sitting at the 59,552 mark. Okay, so 59,552 is this line here. We've got to hold that. 
If we lose that, our next horizontal support does not come in until 54,461, okay? So 54,000 here on Bitcoin. We're currently sitting at 60,000, but you should be prepared for that, that downside. And the reason that downside is important is as follows. You can see that ties in, that horizontal support ties in with our uh, diagonal support line, which we've been following for a long time as well. You can see that Bitcoin uh, used that support line here, he used it back here, and then we want to bounce back again before heading higher. So it's perfectly fine if we come back down to this resistance line. I wouldn't be concerned. It's still perfectly normal. But let's also take a look at the other pattern. So that's that from that pattern. We also know that we obviously we formed a cup and handle pattern. Now with a cup and handle pattern, you've got your neckline. So it's perfectly fine for you to come and test your neckline. That wouldn't also concern me as well because it's, we've seen that before in, in times we've traded cup and handle patterns. You get a retest and then you can break higher with more momentum to the upside. So that gives me some comfort as well. What else gives me comfort? Well, the other thing that gives me comfort is our wedge pattern, right? Our big purple wedge pattern, which we're forming. You, we form this pattern, we broke to the upside. Again, even if we came to retest that wedge, it's still perfectly fine. Although we don't wanna see that kind of low price points right now. Ideally, we hold levels uh, before that, but it still keeps you very confident from the long-term timeframes that you've got so many confluences giving you confidence at these points. Now, let's bring out our EMA ribbon as well. And I'm gonna tell you right now why this is so critical and why in the next 12 hours we're going to find out where we're heading uh, in the mid midterm on Bitcoin. So here's what you can see. From the moment that we broke here, okay, from this moment here where we flipped from bearish to bullish, this got, dates back to the 1st of October, okay? So we're almost a month and a half in now. You can see that Bitcoin went on an absolute tear. When an absolute tear created its first all-time high, it came down and it touched its EMA ribbon. It came and collected a little bit of support from its EMA ribbon, had a little bit of fight, and then went on another move. It looked like it was going to get set for a big move to the upside. It didn't. It was a bit of a fake out. Uh, it kind of created a new all-time high briefly, and then we've lost quite a lot in just the last seven days. And now you can see with yesterday's daily candle, we penetrated this EMA very badly, right? It went from all the way here on, on the open to closing and wicking right to the bottom of the EMA ribbon. So if this daily candle now, this, this green doji candle, which we're seeing right here, if that, if that closes below this EMA ribbon in the next 12 hours, if this closes below the EMA ribbon, and what I mean by that is if we get a close underneath 57,000, 58,000, call it 58,000 here, just here, if we get a close at 58,000, you will now technically, from a technical perspective, be bearish on the daily for Bitcoin. And we could be seeing what I'm saying, which is a trend down to the 54,000 mark and get a retest from this level here. The next mark after that is your 50,000 mark. So it's really important that we do get a bounce here. Now, the good news is the candle is green. You can see it did wick all the way down here today. Okay, we did touch 58 and a half. Okay, but you can see now we've pushed it back up to 60. This green line here sitting at 59,552, hopefully we can maintain that support level, create a green candle and tomorrow build the momentum back up back to all-time highs, okay? So if we get a bounce from here, that's what we're looking for. If we can keep this green and then start bouncing back up, great. If we don't, if we close this daily uh, below the EMA ribbon, we could be coming further down to get a test, back up one of our support slash trend lines before heading higher. So really important that we understand that, guys, from a Bitcoin perspective. We know right now the market's at all-time highs. People are flushing the leverage out. Wells need to get their positions ready for the next move to the upside, and that will naturally have an effect on the whole market. Let's take a quick look at Bitcoin dominance as well whilst we're here and you can see on the daily here on Bitcoin dominance you've had a slight move to the upside and this is very normal um, when 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 um, Bitcoin has a, a crash all coins crash even harder right so Bitcoin maintains some strength uh, gain strength versus all coins so that's very normal people flock from all coins to Bitcoin uh, when they're scared of the market going to the downside because Bitcoin's obviously going to fall less than all coins all coins move at a multiple of Bitcoin so Bitcoin dominance trending to the upside we could even I mean if you if we see now that that kind of heads back up to 47, that could be very interesting here because if you remember, we were initially, before it got invalidated, we were creating this, this W pattern, if you remember we are forming it. Uh, so maybe this could be making another attempt at the neckline, uh, which could suggest some upside here for, for Bitcoin going on another rally. So that's what we're waiting here for now, guys. Nothing to worry about on Bitcoin. I wanna show you one more thing just to make sure you're not worried on Bitcoin before we head out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this weekly chart, not monthly, I'm gonna go for weekly, and I want you to see the following. Look at this Fibonacci swing low to swing high, guys. 
you know that my targets were sat at 75 from the cup and handle pattern and 85 from the uh, from the purple wedge, which I just showed you. Well, this ties in perfectly with what we're seeing with our Fibonacci levels. You can see the 1272 level sits at 75, and you can see my golden ratio 1.618 sits at the 88 level, so which suggests we'll break our 85. Now, this is perfect, but also what we're seeing is in our movement currently, like I said, we've got this bounce off this EMA ribbon, went on absolute tears to all time highs. What we're seeing now is a little bit of a curve off and on the weekly it kind of gives you perspective that hang on a second this isn't too bad all we're seeing is that we're curling down and we could be testing our 0.786 mark here before heading to the upside and that would be perfectly normal that would be perfectly healthy and wouldn't cause us any tells for concern and in order for that to not be invalidated that means 57 so if we hold the 57 mark which we were showing you uh or anywhere above the 57 mark that just means we're getting a bounce around our 0.786 mark and sets us up for a good rally because this was your previous uh, cluster and if you can turn that cluster into support and bounce off higher just like i said with the green rectangular box that is perfect for bitcoin because it means it's now solidified this area as a price floor and therefore when we go up in the future if ever we needed to come down to test we know that look we locked in that sixty-seven thousand mark in that green rectangle and therefore bitcoin locked that in as a psychological price of bitcoin no need to go down to that game again of forty thousand twenty eight thousand thirty thousand Bitcoin solidified its price in people's minds and psyches as where it belongs. So there you go, guys. There's your update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys found this useful. I know a lot of you subscribe for altcoin access, but it's really important you understand Bitcoin and how Bitcoin influences a lot of these altcoins. So please, please watch these videos. Make sure you understand how Bitcoin moves and what that means for the wider market. As always, if you appreciate this, smash up the like, subscribe. If you want to support this channel even further, guys, please consider becoming a member of this channel. There's a join button below. Uh, you can choose which package works for you and you can become a member of the channel. That will give you access to our community members only thread. And over there, guys, you'll get access to me directly. You can ask me questions about your favorite altcoins, what things you want to analyze, and I'm happy to look at those for you as well. As always, guys, I'll leave the link to the free public Discord server there as well. It's a pinned comment below. That community is great growing rapidly guys you guys are awesome you all having amazing discussions in there when this price was crashed even though i was, I was in the plane with on a plane at forty thousand feet with no internet connection when i landed i read all your messages and i can see you guys were helping each other out navigating the community and talking about why bitcoin crashed what could it be how can we uh, navigate this and that is awesome to see so make sure you head over into there uh, sign up for that it doesn't cost you a penny and you can meet like-minded people i answer questions in there as well so feel free to tag me as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one